Hello beautiful seekers, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Clarity1129. Here I am and this time there's a pick a card reading and not a pick a pile reading. Um, I have done this reading once before in the previous year. Uh, it is a reading um, with the elements, the classic elements, okay, the elemental reading. Um, now in that particular video I had gone into depth to uh, explain the classical elements which I am sure you are all aware of which is air, earth, water, fire and ether or the skies or akasha. Okay, So the five classical elements or the panchabhutas as they are called is what everything is made of including you and I. All right? And that is why whatever, you know, we are born with um, these bodies which are earthly and we leave them behind all right but the essence <clears throat> is the same so um, in today's reading what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take out four tarot cards I'll be doing live shuffling I'm using the ethereal visions tarot deck and I'm going to uh, take out advice card an advice card from the angel and ancestors oracle now what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to take out one card which represents one card each for each element which is uh, from the tarot cards. Now air talks about your thoughts, the earth talks about your material possessions uh, and anything that's tangible, water talks about your emotions and your feelings and fire talks about passions and creativity. Alright, so I'll take out one card from each. And I'll take out one card from spirit since we don't have, uh, um, um, that will be the advice from spirit, okay. And that card, now in the previous reading which I did, I had taken all tarot cards. This time I'm doing it a little differently. So the message from spirit will be an oracle card, alright. So shall we begin? As you can see the four piles are in front of you. Pile number one is the ace of air, which in the other tarot um, decks are called. Um, the ace of swords pile number two is the ace of earth or the ace of pentacles pile number three is the ace of water or the ace of cups and pile number four is the ace of fire or the ace of wands now, if we had uh, ether, I would have had one ace of ether, but we don't have that in any of the decks, all right? So, let's begin with our first pile. Uh, wait, before that, I'll give you a moment to take a deep breath, relax, and whichever pile you're instinctively drawn to, that is your pile. And uh, by now, all those who are uh, into tarot, you know that each element also represents certain amount um, the zodiac signs right you have the zodiac signs are also divided into elements so you have um, the aquarius libra and gemini under air uh, taurus virgo and capricorn under earth cancer Sp uh, pisces and scorpio under water and leo sagittarius and aries under fire However, you don't have to choose the element. You know, we have all elements in our um, chart. Even though we relate to our sun, um, you know, our sun sign, we have, usually we have all the elements in our chart. So you don't have to go by your sun or moon sign. Whatever card you're instinctively drawn to, and it may not be your element, does not matter. Uh, th there is a message for you in that pile, all right? So take a deep breath relax and choose your pile and now let's start with pile number one those who chose the ace of air here is your reading As I said earlier, this is the Ethereal Vision Tarot. I'll do seven shuffles and we'll take out four cards.
taking out four cards for pile number one. As you know, I take down, I take only face down cards. for these cards to come out today. Three shuffles of the Angel and Ancestors and then we take out one advice card for you. advice card from spirit for pile number one those who chose the ace of air this is stubborn pile cards are just not coming out usually they just fly out as I said there you go this is the message from spirit All right, let me explain as we move now. The first card is what's happening in your thoughts and feelings. This is the card of air. This card is for your material possessions. It's a card of earth. This card is the card for your emotions and feelings. This is the element of water. And this card is the element of fire which talks about your passions and creativity and this card which is the advice from spirit we'll open it at the end all right so where does your where do your thoughts lie pile number one and you get the well card now this card is particular to this deck you don't find this in other decks as far as I'm uh, aware you don't find it in any other deck you've got two additional cards in the ethereal vision uh, in the ethereal visions tarot deck one is the well and the other one is the artist and you get the well now the well though it's come into your thoughts and feeling well is actually mother Gaia it's about the earth and all the resources that you possess, all right? And it's come in your thoughts uh, sector. So what is it that you're thinking? I believe that pile number one, you are wondering whether you have enough resources to carry out what you want. And this is actually, this card coming here is telling you to put your thoughts at uh, ease you have enough and more of what is required to do what you have in mind. There is a lot, you know, uh, there is enough for everybody, but we all tend to be a little uh, insecure, and especially depending on the region you come from and the kind of life you've led. There is a, a bit of insecurity around money and material possession. On one hand, you don't, uh, you feel, you you know, there's an unhealthy uh, relationship we have uh, with money that if you ask for too much, you may be greedy. On the other side, there is this insecurity that we'll be left out and we won't have enough. Now, this is the message that you're getting 
that whatever you're thinking as far as your resources and your money and your possessions are concerned, if you feel you haven't enough and whatever you need to do next, you feel that you, you'll fall short of it because you will not get enough or you do not have enough, this is telling you that you do. The well card tells you, and that was upright, it tells you that you have lots and more of all the resources that you need to make your dreams come true. All right. Moving on to your material uh, card of the earth, you get the judgment. Now the judgment is a major arcana again, even the well is. Uh, this is in your sector of your material possessions. And it says that wherever you are at at this time, be it your relationships, be it your career, and whatever else or material possessions, at this time, wherever you are at, whether you feel that you should have been way ahead or you should have, things should be different, you are meant to be right here. You are exactly where you are meant to be at this time. Which does not mean that if you're in a good position, you're going to go, um, you know, things are going to um, take a dip from here. Neither does it mean that if you're in a, not in a very happy place, it doesn't mean you're going to be stuck here forever and that you won't see growth. It just means that you are on track, you are on time. Whatever is to happen here after is going to happen in divine timing. But if you are feeling despondent, which again with this in your thoughts also it is that you feel there isn't enough perhaps or whether you will fall short. And here again in the material possessions, what you're being told is you have enough and where you are is exactly where you are meant to be. And things will unfold for you in a beautiful way in divine timing. For your emotions, you have the king of pentacles. Oh, wow, there's again <laughs> the king of pentacles. Now you see in your emotional sector as well, when you're talking about your feelings, where do your emotions lie? Here again, you get the king of pentacles, which is all about money and abundance and wealth. So you are being asked to you know, if you have a lack mindset or you poverty consciousness, you're asked to let it go and start believing that you have enough. When you heal your relationship with money and abundance, you will find a steady flow that, you know, the king doesn't have to worry if he spends so much that he, uh, you, you know, today if he goes and buys something very expensive that uh, his uh, coffers will run dry. No, he doesn't have to worry. He is completely comfortable with because he knows he has enough and more. And he knows that this abundance is not something that's going to be lost. That there is a steady, you know, inflow as well as outflow. He knows it. He's comfortable in it. And this is what you need to start believing and feel from within. That yes, you have enough and that you will always have enough. And that abundance will flow to you and through you. And this is what you're being asked to at this time. Alright. And what you get uh, in your fire. Oh Lord. You get the five of pentacles. So this entire reading has all been uh, about material possessions and anything tangible. Be it relationships, be it your actual possessions. Or your career pile number one you are in the state of um, you know your creativity your passions everything has taken a back seat because you are in this lack mindset you're feeling out in the cold it may be your past experiences something you've grown with or you know it's a set sometimes even when our life is 
not what it used to be when we were younger. It's way better than that. Maybe you've seen a poverty during your childhood or you've seen things were difficult to come by. What happens is even though we progress and we get a lot of money, that lack mindset doesn't leave us. We always feel that we've not had, we can always get back there, you know, we can lose everything. But it doesn't happen that way, pile number one. And this is what you're being asked to look into. You have to get out of this way of thinking. Bring this into your thought that there is enough for everybody and you have everything that you need. And right now, wherever you are, you stop looking at people around you, what they're doing, whether they're ahead of you or not. You just have this faith and keep doing your bit. But this is no way to go about it. If you kill your creativity and your passion for whatever you're doing because you feel that you're not going to have enough, and then, you know, and the way I am talking, I'm talking since I'm seeing pentacles and I'm seeing everything about resources. It could also be in a relationship, you know, wherever you are at in, uh, in your relationship, you're in a good place right now. Though this does seem um, more focused on resources. Uh, excuse me. So you have to get out of this mindset of yours because even if you're trying to manifest more abundance into your life, you're manifesting relationship into your life, if you're going to be with this negative mindset or this feeling of, you know, lack, you cannot uh, manifest things, great things into your life. So you have to start with changing your thought, getting your thought in this direction that I have lots of everything that I need. And I can have more if I want. There is enough on this earth. Alright? For me. Now, let's see your advice from spirit. And you get winter. Take care of your needs. Now, spirit is also telling you this. That uh, file number one wherever you are now it could be because of the pandemic i'm uh, recording this during the pandemic uh, in fact here in india we are uh, going through the second wave and things are quite grim there are a lot of people without jobs there are a lot of people going through a lot right now all right and it is and if my file number one i mean this is a timeless reading it's um, and maybe when you see it five years from now uh, we hope and we are sure that there will be no pandemic at that time and things will be much better. But still, if you're going through this, because you don't really need to go through such a difficult time like the pandemic to have a lack mindset or poverty consciousness. It is something that we soak in when we are really small. You know, if you find that your parents are having an argument about there's um, something less in the house or if you find that, you know, when you go to school or you start moving ahead in life and you see there are people who are uh, far more comfortable than you are, there is a certain um, mind uh, set that you have. Now, it could play out in two ways, that when you come into a lot of money, you work really hard and you come into a lot of money, you can either continue being extremely tight uh, with your expenditure because you remember your past or you can go the other direction, be extravagant. Now, what spirit is trying to tell you is not to uh, go in either direction. Take care of your needs. Uh, don't be, don't believe that you know you'll run out of money. At the same time, you don't have to overspend. Be careful with m m money, but don't hold back when there is a need to use it. You have enough if you've got to. Whatever you need will come to you. The earth is abundant and the universe is here for you. And you can have whatever you want. But you have to change your mindset. And you have to believe that yes, money is not evading you. It's here for you. All the wealth and abundance you need is here for you. You have to just, you know, be ready to receive it. 
and to be ready to receive it you have to come out of this lack mindset all right so that's all i have for you pile number 1 whatever you want can be yours all you have to do is have a little bit uh, shift in your thinking nothing is going to go wrong things are going to go great and you're going to get whatever you want all right and uh, i have been focusing on resources and wealth here because that's what was most evident but this could be in your relationships as well if there is a lull right now it's not that it's not going to happen it's just that at this time things are not working out but if you keep a positive mindset and be passionate about whatever you're doing and believe that yes good things are going to come to you your mind is so powerful you can actually attract anything that you want all right so that's all i have for you pile number 1 those who chose the ace of air and we're coming on to pile number 2 those who have chosen the ace of earth or the ace of pentacles this is your reading as i said we'll be using the ethereal vision tarot i am live shuffling we we'll do seven shuffles and we'll pull out four cards for you cards for pile number 2 as you know i take only face down cards three shuffles and we'll take out one advice card from advice card from the angel and ancestors oracle deck i do fumble over my words all right one advice card for pile number 2 those who chose the ace of earth all right this card represents your thoughts this your material possessions relationships and everything earthly this your emotions and feelings and this your passion and creativity all right so this is the element of air earth water fire and this final card is the message from spirit in your thoughts you get the seven of pentacles so pile number 2 you are at a stage wherein you've put in a lot of effort and you're wondering why the results are not showing you have this um uh, your thinking is going in the direction is that is this really for me i've put in so much of work and people you know they're putting half as much work and they're getting a whole lot so am i doing something wrong you're basically taking stock and it is a card of impatience you're getting impatient about it you feel that by now you should have been able to reap something of all this effort that you've put in things should have uh, started showing up now in your life and it hasn't so this is where you are as far as your thoughts are concerned in your earthly possessions you get the beautiful strength card So right now though you're working on your coin and you've uh, waiting um uh, impatiently now 
for things to show up. You have this inner strength, you know, to carry on working. You are not the kind who will give up. You've got staying power. You've got endurance. And this is a beautiful thing. So um, you have what it takes to work hard and you also have what it takes to stay on for a long time. You're not the kind of person, yes, you are getting a little impatient right now. Your thoughts are uh, going, you know, back to why isn't it happening? It should have happened by now. And yet you're not the kind of person who will just give it up and say, forget it. Maybe this is not for me. Uh, I'll try something else. No, you are um, strong enough to, you know, stay the course. You'll say, no, I will take it to the... Uh, finishing line. I'm going to wait. It's not to say that, you know, you are the kind of person who uh, does not want to take a risk. No, this is not that. This is about giving it that time. You're not the kind of person who sows a seed and then goes and checks it uh, every five minutes to see whether something's come or go uh, after every three days you go and see has something come and try to take out how much the root has grown because you know that plants don't grow like that. In the same way, right now, while you're taking stock and while there is this little bit, you know, after all, we are all human. There is a tendency that we, um, you know, go and see, wonder, especially, and we do, despite our best effort, there is this, and especially with social media and everyone flaunting everything outside, there is this tendency to say that, oh, I have also put in so much of effort, but nothing's come yet. But the good part is that though you see that, and though there's a bit of impatience building up, this always wins, the strength that you have to stay the course, all right? So what do your emotions have to tell you? You get the six of wands in reverse. Now, six of wands is the card of victory. It's the card of you know, success. Look at this person with this confidence on his horse, with a wreath showing his victory and all people looking up to him. Right now you get this card in reverse. So you are feeling a little defeated. You have this innate strength to stay the course, as I said. But this impatience is making you feel, you know, it's making you doubt yourself. It's making you feel that maybe this was the wrong uh, path or maybe you're doing something wrong and you've started feeling a little defeated now all right and that's what this is telling you that this is what you're going through right now but what you need to focus on pile number two is the fact that you have so much of strength that is going to make you change this way of thinking in some uh, thinking as well as feeling in some time. You are going to stay the course and that is going to tell you and show you that you are going to get tremendous success in the future. For your passions and creativity, for what the fire element has to tell you, get the two of pentacles which talks about trying to balance two things. All right, and here you are juggling either between your work and your family, but more than anything, I feel you're juggling with your thoughts. You know, whether you should have put in all your effort here or not. And maybe there was another option as well, and you chose one and you're putting in some effort and you're wondering whether you should have chosen the other option. All right. But there is still something within you which tells you to just wait and watch. And what's your advice from spirit? Well, this is beautiful. You get lady, which says enjoy growth and reap rewards. This is the Empress card. All right, so spirit is telling you what you are doing is absolutely right. Keep the good work. Keep up the good work. You have this immense strength within you. You know, this is the card of Leo, but I don't know why I'm getting strong um, earth sign vibes from you.
you know, you, you more like the Taurus, maybe. You have staying power. You have endurance. You're going to, and because of this, you will battle your thoughts and your negative emotions, which right now you're feeling defeated. You are going to actually put that behind you and continue working hard. You will carry on. Do, you know, you will put rest to this. Should I do? Should I have not? taken this should I have gone to that you'll put this kind of thinking at ease and you'll give it all that you have into the same place where you've already put in seven of pentacles you're going to give it your eight of pentacles and soon you'll find you coming to the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles and this is what spirit is trying to tell you that your hard work will pay off for sure all right so pile number two this is all I have for you Spirit is trying to tell you that yes, you are going to get all that you're working for. What is meant to be yours will come to you and it's going to be more beautiful than what you ever imagined. Alright? So, do not feel defeated. Do not think this is the end of the world. Do not think that you're going nowhere or that you've chosen the wrong path. You are exactly where you are meant to be and you're going to get a lot all right so that's all i have for you pile number two those who chose the ace of earth coming to pile number three those who chose the ace of water or the ace of cups here is your reading take the ethereal visions tarot as i said seven shuffles and four cards for you For water. I get tired of talking after a while and then I find that I start fumbling and eating up my own words and I don't realize that right now as I'm talking to you no, though sometimes I do but when I listen to the reading again before posting it there are so many places where I've eaten up words and I don't have the heart to re-record it so I just let it be and I hope you're all kind enough to let that pass and just take what's meant for you in the reading all right so pile number three are we ready four cards for you shuffles and we pull out one card from the angel and ancestors oracle deck for you as advice from spirit one card pile number three so we chose the eggs of water one advice card from spirit All right, pile number three. This card represents your thoughts and um, your thoughts, and it is the element of air. This talks about your material possessions and everything tangible. This is earth. This is water, and this talks about your feelings and emotions. And this is fire, talking about your passions and creativity. This last card from the Angel and Ancestors deck, as I mentioned, is advice card from Spirit, which we shall look at at the end of the reading. So what is it that's going on in your head right now? Aha, you get the beautiful Ace of Cups. So your mind is caught up with ideas of love. There is someone that you want to offer your cup of love to, all right? And ideally, you think that this should come in the emotion sector, but being an Aquarian myself, I know that this, uh, it is very possible that there are, uh, you know, a whole lot of us out there who 
uh, unlike water signs who feel uh, and this is so beautiful because your card I mean the pile is ace of water which is ace of cups and what's in your thoughts is also ace of cups it's all about love looks like it so what I was saying is that you know the air elements they think even love begins in their head before it begins in their heart all right unlike water signs so perhaps uh, those who have chosen this pile and they've chosen ace of water or the ace of cups but it's a possibility that uh, there are a lot of air signs watching this or you've got air heavy in your chart moon rising all right so let's move ahead and see what else is in store for you in your material possessions you have the hangman the hangman is someone who has deliberately hung himself upside down to take a fresh look uh, at things to look at things from a fresh perspective a different perspective so this is where you are as far as your material possessions is concerned as far as your relationship is concerned so it's possible that you have a lot of love for somebody and that's in your head and uh, but you don't know what to do so you're just waiting for things to take their natural course all right mm. in your emotions and feelings you have the nine of swords now can you see this card this is a lady who's having sleepless nights because she's haunted by the ghosts of her past it's depicted so beautifully, though it's a very sad looking card. But. So this is where you are at. Now there is this cup of love. You, you're feeling a lot of love for somebody, but you're not taking any action uh, about moving this forward. Uh, you're just there waiting for things to take its own course because there is one part of you which is telling you that this might not work up like it didn't in the past so it's possible that things haven't worked out in the past or there are some other things that are plaguing you which you feel will not let this happen so it is in your thoughts okay you're having sleepless nights about it because this is definitely something beautiful and this is something that you really like to have but you feel that it can't be yours and instead of taking action towards it you just 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 letting you know uh, things just flow wow in your fire you know what the fire element has to say to you is the star when we talk about your passion and creativity you get the beautiful star card which is again major arcana so it says that there is a whole lot of hope here so whatever that you're you have in your mind there is this cup of love that you want to offer and you, it is your feeling of hurt from the past or something uh, from your past which is holding you back and telling you this is not going to happen and because of that you're taking no action and just hanging upside down waiting you know for something to happen on its own but you're being told that there is hope here it is something beautiful is going to unfold for you so don't allow that passion to go away just because of something that's happened in the past maybe it's something has happened in the past that's made you think like this or something people are telling you some things which make you believe that it's not happening don't listen to anybody listen to your heart listen to your intuition your intuition will never lead you astray now what is the final uh, advice card from spirit okay you get the oracle wait for important information so i guess it is your intuition that is making you hang upside down like this and telling you not to take action because you don't know enough Maybe uh, while this is brewing in your uh, head, a whole lot of love for a certain person, at the same time, 
possibly you're in this page of swords energy and you're you know uh, while you are uh, not really doing anything you're also keeping your eyes open to get more information and that's exactly what spirit is saying that you wait for important information so in time you will get to know that this person you want to offer your love to what they think about you as well maybe they uh, this strategy of yours is, is working but what you need to know is that you have to get out of this because you know if you don't get out of this what happens is suppose there is somebody you want to offer their, your cup of love to and that person comes along and that person actually shows interest you will sabotage it if you don't get out of this energy pile number three and this is something you should really really look into right now you know, sometimes the best chances that we have, the best opportunities that we come that come our way, we actually let it go just because of this kind of thinking. This eight of swords and knight of swords and nine of swords are the two cards I believe, and along with the four of cups, which actually bring in all the problems in our life. Because while the Four of uh, Cups talks about apathy and apathetic thinking and wanting things to um, happen our own way, being very rigid and not seeing opportunities for what it is, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords are all about self-limiting thinking, thinking and beliefs as well as overthinking. And that's what you're doing right now. And that needs to stop. Spirit is telling you, you will get that information. And the star card here is telling you that you are it's very favorable this outcome or whatever you're waiting for. But do not sabotage it with overthinking and with bringing your past and whatever is not worked out. You know, negative thinking, just get it out of your system. Uh, I know you'd say it's easier said than done. What you can do is whenever you get these... Uh, thoughts which tell you that you know this cup of love is going to um, not be reciprocated or something like that when you realize you're going there just stop it engage in some other activity do something else talk to somebody else but get out of this don't dwell in this energy for too long because whatever is coming your way and something beautiful is indeed coming your way you will actually block it from coming to you so please don't do that pay attention and what you're doing here with the hangman is good it's all right you don't want to take action don't wait for that information that's going to come to you and it's going to come to you soon i feel so let it come to you but in the meantime please work on getting a positive mindset because we block beautiful opportunities from coming to us just because we think negative all right so that's all i have for you file number three I hope this reading resonated. If it did, do consider giving it a like, share, comment and subscribe. And I haven't said that to any of the other piles. See, I keep forgetting. And with that, we come to the last pile. Those who chose the Ace of Fire, pile number four. All right. So it is dry up today. We're taking the ethereal visions, we're doing live shuffling, seven shuffles, and then four cards from this deck for you, pile number four. view.
three shuffles and we'll take out one card from the Angel and Ancestors Oracle deck for advice from Spitter. Alright, pile number four. One advice card for you from Spitter. by number four this card represents your thoughts this your material possessions and everything earthly this your emotions and feelings and this your passions and creativity this is the final advice from spirit so what's going on in your head and you get the chariot the chariot talks about balance balancing your head and your heart to move forward and right now, this is what's paramount in your mind. You're trying to find that balance between your head and your heart. And you're preoccupied with this because you want to move ahead. And this is beautiful energy. This is very fast energy as well. All right. Wow. In your earthly possessions, you get the king of cups. Now, this king is a king who's in control of his emotions, is a king who talks about soul connections, is a king who is, um, has depth of emotion. Extremely, he may not show his emotion, but he is, and he's extremely, extremely intuitive, all right? So this comes into your very strong cancer energy here um, as far as your earthly um, and material possessions is concerned all right I'd like to move ahead what is your emotions you get the beautiful magician Wow, you've got wonderful, wonderful cards coming up. All right, pile number four. You are trying to manifest something here. And you are doing everything perfectly so far. All right? You're trying to balance your head and your heart. You've got your emotions in control. Your heart is open and you're using your intuition big time. And that's why you're able to manifest. All right. And let's look at what your passion and creativity has to say. Ah, uh, you. It. it uh, out of all the four readings, this is such a crystal clear reading. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Here you are. So pile number four, you are manifesting your Ten of Pentacles. You are trying to manifest getting the love of your life and creating a legacy with them all right and you are moving ahead you have no doubt in your mind things are extremely clear you're using the law of attraction you have worked on yourself and you've come to this beautiful king of cups energy and you are actually since you've got everything that it takes to attract something towards you you have adopted this magician energy and it's all coming to you this is so beautiful pile number four i think this is going to be my shortest reading there's nothing to tell you and here's your advice from spirit which says move in a new direction so what i feel is that this is something you already know with this intuition so whatever it has been that was holding you back now you've suddenly got this epiphany as to which way you should go and you have balanced your head and your heart and most of our struggles come when our head and heart 
are you know at variance with one another the heart wants to go one way and uh, your heart and your intuition and the head is always talking logic which goes in another way and when these two are not together you find that you just don't move you know you move towards logic but your heart is not in it we are trained to move towards logic so usually this happens we don't progress or even if you're progressing we're not happy there and that's because our head and heart are not in alignment but here you've got the yin and yang energy totally aligned and you're moving forward you've got this great maturity and you know what you want you're willing to put in the work you've got great intuition you're moving taking moving in that direction with your head and heart and you know you thinking so positively you're feeling just right about this particular move that you're taking and because of that you're manifesting the 10 of pentacles this is what you want you want that beautiful home with all the abundance in the world you want the person that you love you want to start a family with them you want it all and you're getting it this is such a beautiful reading pile number 4 this is beautiful and that's all i have for you this is such a quick reading it is almost a blink and miss reading you know it was that crystal clear and it's so beautiful so that's a wonderful reading for you pile number 4 those who chose the ace of fire and with that i come to the end of this reading for those who are still with me here uh do like share comment and subscribe and if you actually like to see more of such readings do let me know in the comments because i uh and if you have ideas or something else that you'd like to see i'd like to uh, you know if you can tell me that that i could actually come up with these readings for you so that's all i have till next time stay safe be good bye bye